Hi and welcome to yet another powerful video on how to profitize your restaurant business. My name is Gopal Kamath. I am a restaurant owner and the founder of Get Your Restaurant where we teach you how to start and succeed in a food business. Create a profitable food business for yourself where you can enjoy your life make a lot of money and live a great standard of living and today i have a very very important video for you the name of the video is unlocking success the secrets to running a profitable restaurant business now you will you will not find a video like this on youtube where a restaurant owner like me teaches you and shares with you the ideas on what all are the things to focus if you want to be successful and profitable in the food business. So before we start on this video, I strongly urge you, if you really want to learn deep on how to start a food business, or even if you are existingly owning a food business and would like to optimize your food business for better profitability, for better management and better operations, please subscribe to my channel and uh, press the bell icon so that whenever I come up with a new video, it will be shown to you as soon as possible. Share this video with your friends, with your family, so that those of the people in your circle who are really interested in starting a food business will at least know of a channel where information is given about the restaurant business from a person who is actually running a restaurant business. There are so many people on online who are sharing information about the food business, but when I go deep and I see a lot of people have not even run a single restaurant for even a single day so anyways uh, if you are really interested subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and family and be connected with me all the other uh, links for my facebook and instagram are shared in the description now let's move to the topic of the day which is unlocking secrets the success to running a profitable food business it's not just enough to open a food business but the actual journey of making money and creating wealth for yourself starts after you open a food business so let's let's start on this the first point is always focus on cleanliness quality and quantity now why i have given this as the first point is that is the only thing which a uh, your guest or your customer will look for when he is going to come and check out your place for the first time or when he is going to come and check it out for the second time when he becomes a loyal customer. So you have to have a eagle eye view on these three things. The restaurant should be cleaned frequently. The toilets, if you have, should be cleaned frequently. The, the kitchen should be cleaned frequently. You should have a weekly or at least fortnightly deep cleaning schedule where you remove everything and you deep clean it and you keep your restaurant spick and span. Your food quality should be the best and it should be consistent throughout. Not one day your uh, food, uh, your pizza becomes very spicy, next day it becomes very uh, less spicy or any of the material. So standardization in uh, recipes is also required as well as your quality is required. Quantity is also very, uh, quantity should also be standard and it should be the same every time it is served to a customer. A lot of times uh, due to uh, error or due to intentions, uh, the staff uh, starts filling less uh, food and that creates a big issue because it, they have to cook the food and they have to serve it. So they start controlling the cost, but it, it really affects the customer's experience because customer says I'm paying for it and I'm just getting this much quantity. So quality, quantity and cleanliness should be your most important things which you, which you should focus on. The second point is, are you available on all revenue streams? What I mean by that is, a lot of times a walk-in customers, the restaurants are just focused on their walk-in customers. They are not serving online. They don't have a, a home delivery service. They are not on Zomato, Swiggy. They don't have their own website. They don't have their own phone number. So there are a lot of revenue streams. And let's say uh, during rainy seasons, your walk-in goes down, but your uh, home delivery might go up because people cannot come to you, but they want to have your food, so they'll go and they'll do the delivery. So your revenue streams, all the revenue streams, your walk-in, your takeaway, your uh, uh, online uh, Zomato Swiggy and all other platforms, your home deliveries as well as your bulk businesses should be 
in place and you should always be communicating it to your customers. The third point is, are you connecting with your guest as an owner and your manager to your guests? That is very, very important. Don't let your restaurant be just another place where people are just going there and having food. We are humans and we love to be recognized. We love to be thanked. We love to be uh, acknowledged for our actions. And if you give that extra effort where you go and you talk to your customers and you take their feedback, when you listen to them, when you share their feedback, they feel like home and they feel like coming again and again. That is the extra you know, touch which a lot of restaurants don't do and that is one of the reasons why they fail. Their food is good, their ambience is good, but the staff is like moving like robots, you know. The service they are, uh, okay sir, okay, thank you, bye bye. No, you have to have that special warmth in your restaurant which will be kind of like a glue in between your customers and your restaurant and they'll keep they'll feel like coming again and again always note that if you have an option where in one restaurant they're giving just pale service although the food is good service is good and in other restaurant the same kind of food and service is good but they're giving some special attention to their customers the rest the customer will always like to go again and again to the second restaurant so keep that in mind For, fourth point is do you have a tight fist on purchases costs and expenses now this is very very important that you have to you have to be very very finicky about your costs you know try to think of where can i get this at more lower cost where can i get the oil at more lower cost where can i get the vegetable where can how can i save money in my purchases secondly costs as far as uh, uh, costs are concerned which are done on over the counter in the restaurants you know for all the small costs keep an eye on whether it is required or whether it is needed or it is wanted so there is a difference between need and want need is what you urgently need for your restaurants and want is basically it might be needed later so you have to have a balance between both and make sure that not more expenses are done at the restaurant itself so purchases costs and expense don't uh, if you're talking about purchases and inventory don't overstuff your restaurant with lot of purchases because all your working capital will be in will be stuck in that particular uh, uh, inventory uh, inventory room so just keep whatever is substantially required and you can really predict your seasons days and off season days and you can manage your inventory that will help you to Uh, build a stronger working capital which in uh, uh, in effect will keep give you more money which you can use for marketing yeah fifth is are you tracking wastages and filtrages this is one of the biggest mistakes which existing restaurant owners do which i find where your staff you are letting your staff burn your money because wastages i believe is our profits whatever for whatever reason the wastages have gone your the the cook has overcooked the pre preparation he has he has burnt it he has uh, uh, put lot of salt in it or whatever the reason your your kachra is there i am talking about the wastage which is the food wastage i am not talking about other kind of wastage so you have to make sure that the wastage in fact in our restaurants what we do is we start weighing the wastage every day 10 kilos 15 kilos 20 kilos and questions are raised when the average uh, when the everyday daily wastage is starting to go up why is it going up so if you start tracking it automatically it will improve and it will start coming down and that is where you save a lot of money if you keep a eagle eye view on the wastages as well as the pilferages now the sixth point is cash book every day you have to make sure that when your bills are raised and your money is coming in the cash book is uh, uh tallied or no lot of times what happens is you, you the bill is being raised but the money has not been received in the cash counter somebody has you know taken it or uh, it has not been collected from the customer so make sure that that happens and you have a bird's eye view on that also seventh is are you frequently promoting your brand what i mean by that is are you marketing are you promoting are you creating are you getting bloggers to cover your restaurant are you distributing your menus frequently not not part sal mein ek bar you know five years once in five years you have distributed you have to do it every three months six months because that is going to help put your brand in front of your customers and the, you know customers tend to forget you know a lot of times 
people just tend to forget it because their life catches on a lot of things other to do so you have to make sure that your food is put in front your name is put in front of your customers through uh, online and offline marketing so that they can come whenever time comes they can come and order from you eighth point is focusing on bulk sales this is one of the biggest mistakes which restaurant owners do when they are so much engrossed in operating their existing restaurants on a la carte basis or on walk-ins whenever a big order comes they are itna apna time nahi apne ho karne ko when well, let's say they you get an order for 100 thalis or 50 thalis you know you always think oh my god this is a big order and I, you start comparing your existing operations with that order and you immediately say no or your manager says no to that so make sure that doesn't happen bulk business is a big cash flow infusion in your current operations and you should always focus on bulk business in fact i suggest that you should go ahead and you should promote bulk business, bulk business give a little bit discount but try to get as much sale as possible ninth is is your staff happy working with you now this is this is very important if your staff is not happy working with you he will not take care of the customers and then the customer will not return to you again so you have to make sure your staff is very very happy working with you pay them on time take care of them you know uh, comfort give them some comfort as far as work is concerned they are not robots they are your own flesh and blood people so make sure that you take care of them as kids as family so that they can go and um, uh, forward the same courtesy to your customers so that it becomes kind of like a warm feeling of course i am not talking about encouraging uh, people who are over smart or you know uh, uh, supporting wrong uh, behavior if, if it is a wrong behavior it is your point to correct them or to fire them but when people are good don't try to think that they are your uh, slaves so i have i have, uh, I have recorded a exclusive how to care about staff video on my channel just go and check it out and uh, please uh, take good care of your staff because staff on the other end is going to take care of your customers and it is going to help in getting more sales and more profits for your business yeah and 10th and the final point is are you creating your b team this is very very important now i am standing here and i am recording my videos because my b team is already there who is taking care of your of the resort and i have delegated and i have created a process for the whole running of my restaurant so you have to make sure that you train people to take your place don't try to do everything yourself because that's not going to happen you're going to get tired one or the other time so create a b team create a complete delegatable trusted group of people whom you can give the operations and you can start focusing on marketing on focusing on all these key terms which i have told you as well as on expansion yeah so these are the 10 very very important things which you have to keep in mind if you want to run and create a profitable food business now if you are the one who would like to learn deep into starting a food business you might want to look at one of the training one of the coaching programs which i have created i call it as the rlf coaching program please go to www.gopalkamar.in and in this coaching program i have created a step by step video course on how to start any kind of food business and you have you will be having it's a paid program by the way and you will be having lifetime access to it plus each week i'll come live and i will talk to you face to face and answer all your questions that again is also a lifetime access as far as the live uh, sessions are concerned so if you really are serious about starting a food business check out www.gopalkamar.in the link is given in the description section also and uh, sign up if you really want to learn from a person who is already doing the restaurant business and uh, not just giving gyan on the youtube channel and uh, again um, subscribe to this channel if you love this uh, comment on this video ask me questions because a lot of my uh, upcoming video topics are decided on your questions and uh, stay cool and see you in the RLF coaching program or see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Take care.